Encountering question marks in Lightroom. I'm in the Peter Fisher folder and I'm looking to the beach folder and I'm seeing two question marks. Let me zoom up to this image by hitting the E key. It says the file is offline or missing. Okay, well, potentially the file's been moved outside of Lightroom without Lightroom's knowledge. So the idea here is to try and locate where you move the image to if that's the case. So I'm going to go back to the grid, G for grid, and I'm going to click on the question mark. Now it says, Jerry, here's the file, here's the previous location. I don't find it there anymore. So you're asked to locate the file. So in this case here, I'm going to move down to my backup 4 gig stick, and you can see the file name is exhibited up here. So it's number 82, and I'm selecting it because I want to relink it. And then I'm looking over here, and it says find nearby missing photos. Oh, that's a good idea because I've got two. And I'll hit select. And now the image isn't in the folder anymore. It's being referenced over here on this volume and in that folder. Okay, so to return it back to the beach area. It's easy. Select both the images. You might get tripped up if you're moving images within Lightroom if you drag from the surround. So carefully click on the image itself and then you can drag it and return it to the beach folder. And it's saying again, I'm moving the files on the disk. Go ahead and move them and they'll return to the beach folder. Next we might, we might encounter where we've actually moved a whole folder to some new location. So in this case here, I have a question mark at the blurry color images. Now I'm seeing question marks on the images as well because we render the previews on import. So we're left with previews, but we don't have the actual original file. So in this case here, we can right click on the mouse, control click on the PC or the Mac and say find missing folder. And again, I move this folder on the system level rather than moving it within Lightroom. So now I need to identify that folder for Lightroom in its new location and say choose. And then Lightroom's happy, okay? It's finding it referenced on this volume over here like that. Okay, now. I'll return this to the archive. Okay, I'd like to explore another significant feature of Lightroom. I'm in the Albuquerque Balloon Fiesta folder, and I'm clicking on the image in the upper left-hand corner of the grid. I'm going to hit the Delete key, and I get this dialog box. Delete the selected master photo from the disk, or just remove it from Lightroom. Well, if I say Remove, the image still resides in the original folder called Albuquerque Balloon Fiesta, but it's just not referenced by Lightroom. I can bring it back, or if you've moved images on the system level and you want and you think you may have pushed an image in to a specific folder, you can use this feature called Synchronize. And it's going to look to the folder and say, hey, I've got an image that's not associated with the database. What do you want to do? I'm going to turn off Show Import dialog before importing. just I'm just going to bring it in directly. I'll say synchronize. And the image comes in. First thing everybody says, where is my other images? They're actually right here. Just click on the folder and this is returned. Now if I hit delete again and I say delete from disk, it goes directly to the finder's trash and removes it from Lightroom as well as your hard drive, moving it to the trash. When you say empty the trash, it's gone. Now if you do this and that's an oops, oop, I didn't mean to do that. What you'll need to do is go to the system level, go to the trash, pull it out of the trash, put it back into the Albuquerque Balloon Fiesta folder, and then synchronize, and then to retrieve it. So a couple more steps associated with that if it's a mistake.